So we have a master butcher and his last trade is sweet berries. So let's just see. Uh, doesn't this work automatically? Okay, let's just put it up there. If we trade with him. So 12 emeralds before he locks. Let's work with that. Hello dudes and dudesses and welcome to another tutorial on trading, villager trading, how to get emeralds and a lot of them early game. We are going to be building this very, very simple sweet berry farm where we have uh, foxes harvest a lot of sweet berries for us automatically. We're going to be using two primary mechanics in this that uh, hoppers can pick up uh, items through farmland and that foxes can actually eat or harvest uh, sweet berries through non-solid blocks. And that's basically all there is to it. Uh, the foxes, as you see, are standing on glass and they can actually pick up the uh, berries through the full glass block and uh, then they will be picked up by hoppers and it will go down to the chests down below. Very, very simple. There's really only one thing you have to be aware of. It is not to build it like this in two chunks because I don't know why it's kind of a glitch or something, but I've noticed that sometimes if you do that, the uh, foxes will s stay in one corner. So uh, do you uh, use F3 to see that you're in a chunk and then we just start building like this. What you start with is uh, four blocks like this, then a gap of two blocks. That's where the chest will be and then four blocks. That's basically 10 blocks uh, in all. And then you just build out 10 blocks like this to the other side as well. Let me see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, counting with fab, and let's speed it up. You should now have a 10 by 10 area looking like this, and we can remove the chunk borders and go down here and then you just dig down for however many uh, chests you want and you probably want quite a lot but this is a testing world it's uh, so i can't go deeper than uh, three blocks but let me just do it like this so we can have four double chests in all like this and on the other side then you dig down so you can place hoppers pointing into uh, the chests like so. So. Then it's time for uh, the hopper. you got to need a lot of hoppers for this. And you might think that this will uh, be expensive. And I will refer you to my very simple iron farm and uh, my starter iron farm, which is uh, faster than that. I have an iron farm without even a zombie. So you can use that. And in that case, it's not very expensive to make this. But let's just quickly throw in the hoppers. Now, you could, of course, also use uh, a minecart with a hopper. This is just easier uh, because, as I said, hoppers do actually collect things through farmland. And no, you do not have farmland in survival. You will have to take dirt and then hoe it. But you do have it in creative, so I'm going to use it. Now, you will build up the wall too high like this. And then you will take two stairs like this and place it there. It's actually smart because then you can also open the chest. Now you place down dirt or farmland and you waterlock the stairs in like this. And you do the same in the other side like so. And that will be enough to hydrate the entire farm. Then you just need to place down dirt like so. And you can see the water is spreading, all the dirt is hydrated, which means that we can plant our sweet berries right here. Mm. And the plants are all planted. So you will have, you will need uh, eight by eight, whatever that is, a number of plants. Now, then you build up another wall I use glass, you don't have to, it's just because I want to see what I'm doing and then I can show you. And these plants don't actually need light to grow. Now in the other one I use glass, but you can also use slabs if you place them there on the upside like this. So if you want to make like a 
place where you don't actually see the farm you don't want to see uh, what's uh, underneath and of course you can also use walls instead of a too high uh, wall with blocks and then you just need two foxes and voila that's basically the farm all done now let's just uh, change the random tick speed so we don't have to wait for the plants to grow up like this of course you need to be nearby for the plants to grow just like any other plants but as soon as they've grown up the foxes as you can see when there's berries the foxes will start harvesting them they will have one in their mouth but they cannot eat them because they cannot keep them so they will go down here and you see we already have 36 sweet berries harvested sweet now I built up uh, a lot of trading uh, master butchers here just to see how many emeralds we can get. So uh, let's try this. That was the same as before. And let's try, yeah, like this. So 12, just as before, but I have nine. So let's just speed this up. See how many we can get from going through nine of these master butchers. Okay, we got a stack and a half. That's not bad. And we used half uh, of our inventory. So we can go down here and let's see. Yes, they're ready to trade again. So if we do this one more time, like so, if I could uh, hit the right buttons, uh, you'll see that we're actually able to very, very fast in one day trade up three stacks of emeralds like this and that's not all let's go back here and this guy he still wants to trade with us so basically as as you can see this is a very fast and easy way to get a lot of emeralds now you do have to get the foxes and you will only get those in certain um, biomes so if you don't have access to foxes uh, I have an alternative with the wolf farm that you can look at but that was all guys I hope you liked it if you do leave it a like it helps the channel and if you're brand new do subscribe if you want to see more see you in the next one bye <laughs>